you more and more every single day. If I can just know a little bit more of you today, maybe through one verse and not like 20 other verses, um, that maybe it's that. I'm seeing some more questions. YouTube. We have a question on YouTube. What is it? What must I do to be saved? What must you do to be saved, Izzy? Oh, that's a... Sounds like your question. That sounds like an excellent question. Yes. What must I do to be saved? Um, let's, let's start with... Let's start with um, knowing who Jesus is. Give your life up to Christ. Um, so as she was talking about sanctification, before, before sanctification, there's a thing called justification. Mm -hmm. um, first, you must know who you are and to know the relationship between you and God. God um, is a loving and compassionate God. We, as people, are sinners. Um, we fall into sin, and because of that, that distorted our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, God, um, you know, through a series of events in the Bible, if you read through the whole Bible, all the way to a point where Jesus comes along, Jesus comes along and rekindles that relationship back through um, his sacrificial love, dying on the cross, and resurrecting. And to become to become Christian, to give your life to Christ, you must one accept that Jesus Christ is the the Savior of your life, the Savior of your salvation, and that Jesus is God. He is Lord. Um, that is the first step of the process of being saved. Then, then what follows that is an active pursuit mm -hmm. to know and have that relationship with Jesus. And this means a various of things. One is seeking God first. And um, the second is loving your neighbor. Mm -hmm. I, I believe um, there's a bunch of passages that says, but the greatest commandment, and I think I can give it to you in actually in Luke chapter 10. Oh, I, I'm going to give it to you right, right now. This is why Izzy's here, because he like knows the Bible really well. <laughs> and he knows the passages and the where they're found. <laughs> I'm actually preaching a sermon on the Good Samaritan, so I'm not, I'm actually giving a passage. We should know this is the <laughs> where are you preaching, by the way? Next gen? I'm preaching at Next Gen on hey, Friday. Shout at out to seven. Next Gen. If you are a young adult and you want to come here, Izzy preach, come out on Friday. <laughs> so um because that, that's actually a good question to ask. And I won't go too in deep of it, but but there's a lawyer that asked Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And then Jesus asked him, um, well, what does the law say? What does the Bible say about it? And then he tells him, you must love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus says, yes, you answer correctly. Go and do this. And that's kind of the same way of accepting Jesus in your life. Because if you accept Christ in your life, that is a way of you experience the full love and glory of God. And then after that, you go live a life of sanctification. And it's not and it's not easy. You will stumble and fall on this journey because we are sinners. But you get up and keep pursuing God. And that's, that's right. the beauty of uh, loving God fully is to pursue. It's kind of like a relationship. I know some of you guys aren't here married. Like, they're all going to be like, you know, struggle with you and your spouse, mm -hmm. but you guys keep working it together in order to rekindle that relationship. That is the same way between us and God. And, the, and one of the ways we do this by loving our neighbor and the way we love our neighbor is following the commandments and not sinning because sin hurts not only our relationship with God, but our relationship with man. Mm -hmm. So I kind of gave you like a loaded answer, but first step, give your life to Christ. Surrender. Surrender. Repent. 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 Turn because from your ways. Turn, turn from your ways. And again, are we going to get it perfect every time? No. Jesus under, Jesus gets it. I mean, we are not going to get it perfect, but there's something about repenting. And I think that's a talk. Repenting is not a thing that we talk about a lot yeah. because that's like, oh my gosh, my old church talked, I just said I, I need to repent 24 seven. Like, yeah. But really it's, it's when we get to know Jesus and we are going through this process of sanctification, yeah. it's it's like, I don't really want to sin anymore. I mean, yeah. because the more that I'm closer to Jesus, it's like, oh my goodness. But when I do, I mean, I, I need to own up to it and yeah. I need to repent yeah. and I need to say, sorry, Lord, help me through this, yeah. you know? And again, it's not to live in this shame and condemnation, but Jesus is like, let's get up and let's move forward. You know what I mean? And so that's part of, um, you know, giving your life to Jesus. Jesus. Man, I surrender and I want to live for you really is what it is about. Because you know why? Because Jesus is hope. 
Jesus, living for Jesus, man, I was a drug addict in high school. Mm. I was a pastor's kid, but yet I I rebelled and lived in the world. And when I made that decision to fully live for Jesus, to know him for myself, not the God that my parents served, but for myself, I realized, wow, God is so real. He saved me from drugs. He saved me from so much. And this is the hope that I had in Jesus to be able to move forward, to, to get married, to be a pastor, to have children. I mean, Jesus came so we can live life to the fullest. And this is what we have in, in riding with Jesus and following him and living for him. And, then, and salvation is the greatest thing that we know that when we die, that we will be with Jesus. And so I just, I think that's just such a great question. We could probably stay on that like yeah, forever. That could be a whole other Q&A. That could be like a whole other Q&A. There was a second question, correct? Was there a second question, John? No? I don't think, I don't think, I think it was just that. That was it? Okay. Yeah. 